Connecting a centriboiler outdoor furnace to your indoor forced air system is easy with a water to air heat exchanger. Now all the details and steps are in the installation guide which came with your furnace. Now Mark, what do we have here? This is your typical forced air system you'll find in many homes. Down here is the blower, here's your indoor burner system, and here's the plenum. Typically in the plenum, you may find a air conditioning coil mounted in the top. Now what we're gonna do is put our water to air heat exchanger right here between the blower and between the air conditioner. We want the air to pass through our heat exchanger before it goes through the air conditioning coil. Now the first step is to pick out the proper sized heat exchanger. We have many sizes available and you want to pick out one that closely matches your plenum dimensions. That way all the air is directed right through the face of the exchanger. Now we're going to show you one way to install a heat exchanger in your furnace plenum. We picked up some slotted angle iron at the local hardware store, which makes it pretty easy. So we're going to show you how to do it. Let's get to it. The tools you'll need are a tape measure, a drill, some angle iron, tin snips or a jigsaw with a metal blade, and foil tape. Measure your furnace plenum and choose a water to air heat exchanger that fits correctly. Match the sides as close as possible to the plenum dimensions. Measure up at least four inches from the top of the furnace and mark four spots for reference points. Drill four holes as shown. Use a tin snips or a jigsaw with a metal blade to form the hole by cutting the sheet metal. If a jigsaw is used, vacuum up any metal shavings. Be careful and use proper gloves and protection when working with the sheet metal as it is very sharp. Once the hole is cut for the water to air heat exchanger, fashion a shelf or base to support it. First, measure and drill four holes in the plenum for mounting the brackets. Attach the brackets with the bolts, ensuring the brackets are level. Then, tighten the bolts. If you are using slotted angle iron, use foil tape to seal the air gaps. Finally, slide the heat exchanger in place and use foil tape to seal the gaps in the plenum. So Rob, what do you think of my craftsmanship? I think it looks really good, Mark. Well, obviously it's easy enough to do yourself, but if you don't want to, contact a central boiler dealer and have it professionally installed. That's right. And for more details on this process, check out your installation guide and go to centralboiler.com where there's a library of detailed illustrations for connecting to a wide variety of existing heating systems.